It's been a few days already that in the first part of the lesson it's felt that there's some kind of special weird feeling as if the whole world is shrinking. The fact that you're feeling that the whole world is shrinking and becoming smaller, it's because the world is really becoming smaller and shrinking. There's no, you, there aren't all those systems that you had there before determining things. The world has become such like a small system that is losing its intensity every time more and more. Where is our economic system, the technology system, the science, culture, education, trade, all kinds of stock markets. Where is everybody? We don't hear about them anymore. Uh, the world has come down from all these systems that were built in the 20th century and we'll see them that they can just rise as they were before most people already are starting to understand that we have gone through that state and there's no way back people thought soon we're going to be able to go back to all of this no there won't be it's going to be a new world what new world first we need to change people we gradually see how people are changing in what are they changing they don't understand where they are meaning they're coming out of their routine that was clear and unknown, and now they're in a world that isn't working. They don't understand how to manage the world. And it's going to keep going in this way until another wave will come of pollution, a virus, more and more. And it will cleanse us from everything we had before. It will disconnect us from all the orders of life we had before, and we'll forget about them. It's still working, but in a way of necessities. We don't understand that we ourselves are going down to necessities. Like the wisdom of Kabbalah says that it has to be. We see that suddenly everything that's happening or already close to spirituality. People can't chase all kinds of things. So they forget about them even. It disappears from the feelings, from the desires, they are more and more it's not disturbing them from spiritual attainment. They're already coming closer and closer to us. They'll start soon understanding what we're talking about. They'll be so despaired soon that they'll agree that through the connection, a new world can open. A new humanity, a new life, a new system of life, that through the connection between us, we will reach some kind of state that we find a new life, and that will already be closer to a spiritual world. Because humanity isn't advancing like us, they're advancing the, in a way that they'll start doing it from no choice in this corporeal life, they'll start keeping the spiritual laws in a simple way, yeah. That their desire changes, and also the ability to realize their selves changes. That's how it is. You'll see in, in 2021 how many professions will disappear, how many businesses will disappear, how many people will find themselves unemployed, and still we will need in someone to take care of everyone, so it will bring us to a state 
of connection whether we want it or not. And then it turns out that the world is gradually organizing into a new system of trade, of production, of everything is going into necessities only necessities also according to fashion and culture and education and all these things we'll see how everything is really coming is just getting smaller getting smaller and suddenly we see that this life that we are restricting ourselves and they're not so bad nature is forcing us we are getting used to it Truthfully, the younger generation, they are supposedly in this already, in all their media, in their phones. They don't need all these big things like we used to have in the previous century. And we'll see ourselves supposedly that, oh, Suddenly a new world showed up. What's a new world? New systems of connections between people, between countries, between nations, between everybody. We'll feel more and more how this pandemic that started has connected us to one another, that we're dependent on one another, that there's no place to speak about war here because there's a question how to save ourselves altogether in the whole world. That soon, when the truth will be revealed, we'll see how we're all damaged from this virus, that it was sent from above to show us how connected and we're dependent on one another, that we have to work and man will help his friend, because otherwise we won't be saved, and that will be the true antivirus that we will be concerned on the world as a general. We'll see that to that extent we can heal ourselves from the virus. And there's nothing in it, nothing special upon the older viruses, only one thing, that it is global and integral. That's it. And then there's no choice we must relate to ourselves and to it in such a way. And then gradually, gradually we'll see that if our efforts are together, so the virus disappears. No. That will be the... The vaccine. That's the, the, the right vaccine, connection between us. Nature doesn't take into account what people think, political parties with all kinds of interests there, also scientists or doctors, and everything that comes out from the wisdom of humanity. The upper force doesn't take that into account. He's like a train just going, moving ahead and under that press of development that's how it'll take us that's why I don't have anything to say if someone wants to determine a certain political party that they think is a good a good new thing so if they don't want to hear about the general law of nature that nature is the creator and what has to be and what he's going to do they don't have to accept it they are continuing the path of suffering and it's good to discover afterwards as much as everyone's mistaking, but it won't save us from problems and troubles or world wars. That's why I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say.